Hello there everybody and welcome back to day three of Discourse. So, me and Teddy have decided to come and create a signal to see if we can get some assistance. So we need to look for something to actually write help in the sand. Let's find out exactly what we can find. What's this here? Hmm. There's an empty bottle of SPF 900 sunscreen in here. Looks like everything else is falling out. There's nothing useful left. Okay. Looks like something fell out of this backpack. What's that? It's an envelope. This is weird. It has Jolene's name on it. Whoa, top secret evidence? Um, Let's be nosy, let's open it. Let's open it. This is bound to be interesting. Go ahead. Do the honours. Whoa! These are divorce papers! Jolene's planning on leaving George! Sure didn't seem like he was aware of this. Wow, this is really something. Oh shit, I feel really bad for George. This is important, but we should finish this SOS up first. Right, let's get back to work now. Oh man, that's well ash! Okay. What else have we got down here? Hey there, little guy. What have you got there, Rita? It's a disc. Must have fallen out of the plane. All alone and scared. <laughs> That's the face of somebody who has been through some serious stuff. Maybe we should keep him. That way we can take care of each other. We could call him, uh, Disc. Disky. Disky, is that really the best you can come up with? I don't see a name on him. We've got to come up with something. Whatever, I've got nothing. Let's finish up this SOS. I'm still going to have a look at everything else. He's probably going to come and inspect other stuff as well. I can see this driftwood, it's highlighted, so I'm guessing we've got to check that out, but I want to look at everything else first. What a cheap-ass airline. They don't even have flotation devices under the seats. I guess that's what you get for flying with Dicest Air. Okay. Man, if I only had my phone on me, I'd totally Instagram a picture of this beach. <laughs> ah! A landmine! Wait! No, that's more sand. <laughs> okay, let's bring some driftwood over here. So we just got to drop it over with Teddy. I wonder if this will affect our rating. Rating? They're probably rating us on everything we do. I'm sure we're doing great, Teddy. What do you think they're testing you on? Honestly, Teddy, I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, what did you do before the incident? I was a barrister at a coffee... No. I know what your cover story is. What did you really do? Teddy's crazy. I, he's funny, man. Whatever, Teddy. Okay, so let's pick this up. Bring it over. Look at that craftsmanship. S. Is he going to change this into a single O? Oh, close. Okay, let's grab this driftwood. What did you do, Teddy? I used to work for the government in their intelligence building. Confidential information was right under my nose every day. <laughs> Let's ask if they think they're after if he thinks they're after him. So you think that's why they're after you? Of course that's why they're after me. I didn't get a job with them because I wanted to work for them. Why did you then? The sand has ears, Rita. Let's just say it was a good place to get information that I need. Alright, let's finish this SOS. Okay, so there's the O. Is there anything else to look down here? Kind of sad to think about everyone who was lost in the crash. I wonder how many people were on the plane. Good point. It's pretty harsh.
Okay, let's bring this little bit of driftwood over. And last bit is over here. Let's go grab it. Voila. Great, that should do it. We shouldn't have waited until the third day to do this. I really don't think that that's... That it's that big of a deal. A plane could have flown over whilst we were sleeping and not even noticed us. Or a ship. For all we know, this island is near a major shipping route. Speaking of which, what's that light out there? What? Oh, I see it too. It doesn't look like it's moving. It must be an oil platform or something. It's really far away. Too far away to tell anything from here. Maybe it's an alien ship. Teddy, I don't, I don't think so. And suddenly now it's raining. Think that's a coincidence? I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> Yikes! That sounded really close by. I wonder if it struck anything. We're being tested. We have to reconvene with the other subjects. The government has obviously set up a weather machine. <laughs> no doubt that was government lighting. I think it was just normal lightning, Teddy. Let's hurry up and get to camp before we're soaked. Okay. Hey guys, how did it go? We successfully created a Save Our Souls signal upon the beach. Were you able to spell it correctly? <laughs> what are you saying, Steve? That I'm unable to spell SOS? Okay, we don't need to fight about it. Alright, what have you got to say then, Rita? Um, well, we found this little guy. He was all alone, so we brought him with us. Oh my gosh! Let's name him Disky! I told you that name was an original Teddy. Aw, oh, but look at him! He likes it. All right, Disky it is. Great. We're all going crazy. This is why you don't have friends, Steve. Oh, right. My bad. I forgot to make them up. <laughs> okay, that's enough. There's no reason to argue about this. I think Disky will be good for us. You guys find anything of value whilst you were out there? Oh, I almost forgot. We saw a light in the distance of the shore. It was too far to swim, but maybe we could build something to get out there. Well, that's good news then. So, moving on to more devious matters. We know your secret, Jolene. We found some very interesting evidence. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about, Teddy. I don't know if now's the time, Teddy. You tell her, Teddy, or let me, leave, let me do this, Teddy. Hmm. Let's say we don't know if it's the time. Yeah. I don't know if now's the time to bring that up, Teddy. Now's a good time as any. We found your divorce papers. We know you intend to leave George. Is this true? Why would you do this to me, Jolene? I... I just... You know we've been having troubles. I know it's been rough, dear. Nothing we couldn't work through. You weren't meant to see these. I thought they were destroyed in the crash. I just don't know, Jolene. I didn't think we'd, we could. There. Yeah. I didn't think we would ever come to this. I'm so sorry, Georgie. I never meant for this to happen. I still love you. You're not showing it very well. Can't we just get along? Garrett's right. We need to calm down and be rational. So, how did the search for the plane at the plane wreckage grow? We had the wildest ride. We were walking around the plane, having a talk about what we should be looking for. Jolene did most of the talking. When it starts to rain. Seems like the rain is covering a large area. Anyway, suddenly a huge bolt of lightning came across the sky and struck the plane. We were looking a lot to get struck, but we didn't have anything but we didn't get anything useful from the plane. But in the end, what does it even matter? Maybe we should continue this over by the tent? Where we can keep dry. Right. I'll grab a torch. Okay. So this looks like the end of day three. Oh, 
The rain is quickly getting worse. It's really cold. Well, the shelter is keeping us pretty dry right now. It's a lot colder out in the rain. We'll make it through the night. We can find something better after the storm tomorrow. Why do that when we can leave? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Where would we even go? Inland. We could find better shelter. Maybe there's somewhere that the water won't get in? We could get lost in the storm and never find our way back. We could also get hypothermia and die. I think it's a better idea to wait until morning. Then we can look for better shelter. Peter, you're being pretty quiet. Don't tell me you're on their side. Okay. So, we can find better shelter. We can say that we can stay here. Or what does everyone think? We can be a democracy. Let's ask for a vote. What does everyone else think about this? I think my Georgie is right, Rita. We don't even know what's out there, so why risk it? I think it's really a bad idea to leave. You guys are ridiculous. It doesn't matter what we do. We're all dead soon anyway. Oh, wow. Steve is such, <laughs> such a poor soul. Hmm. So hypothermia or find better shelter. I think we should find better shelter, if I'm honest. I don't know. This is the furthest I've been in the game. I don't know the actual risks of staying out in the weather. I don't know if we could be dead tomorrow. So in the sort of thoughts of keeping this going as long as we can, let's find a better shelter. Teddy's right. We should find better shelter. Uh, I guess. I'm still not sure that this is a great idea. We don't have a lot to lose here, George. Something's sure to go bad if we stay out in this weather. All right, all right. Enough talk. If that's what we're doing, let's head out. Wait, we forgot the pretzels. We need to go get them. Oh, for Pete's sake, we don't have time for this. Just hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, let's get the pretzels. Okay, let's go. Come on, everyone. Keep close and s keep there. Whatever. Keep close. <laughs> so we're moving more inland now. See if we can find a better shelter. Hopefully we can. Oh, a cave. Nice. It's a cave. I knew this would work. Wait. W where's Jolene? Uh oh. Um, I could use a little help here. Whoa, is that a jaguar? Let's get out of here. Nobody stands a chance against that thing. And let it have Jolene? Not a chance. Oh my god. Hang on, Jolene. I'm coming. Hold George back. George, no. We can't afford to lose you two. Get your hands off me. Johnny will die without my help. Alright. Let's go fight the jaguar myself. Go on. Get back, George. I've got this. I got my trusty frying pan. Ah! My arm! Oh my god! It actually just ripped my arm off. Rita! You're in terrible shape. We need to get you out of here. Alright, the Jaguar actually just ripped his arm off, guys. What What the hell? George, I... I can't feel my arm. What? Holy crap! Okay. Day five. Where am I? A cave? Oh my god! My arm! Don't freak out, Rita. It's okay. How am I supposed to not freak out? My arm's gone! But you saved us from that jaguar. We were able to stop you bleeding at least. You've been asleep for a day. We didn't want to wake you. As long as we get rescued in the next few days, we can get you some proper medical attention. Holy crap, guys. We've lost an arm. That's harsh. Hey, I'm back. Ugh, I fell asleep. I feel so weak. Need to eat something. Wait, wh where's Jolene? Jolene's gone, I'm afraid? 
We were foraging in these bushes. We found some edible nuts, enough for all of us. Then the jaguar came out of nowhere. I barely got away. Jolene wasn't so lucky. I'm glad that jaguar didn't try to follow me. Oh my god. Um. Garrett, use your game brick. Garrett, use your game brick. Hey, over here. Everyone run. No. No. I can't get away. I don't want Garrett to die. No, 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 no. Uh, someone help him. We need to help Garrett. I'll save you, Garrett. Oh no, George, don't die. Oh no! George, no! Oh my god! This is insane! We need to get out of here! What the hell? George is now dead! We've lost an arm! And George is dead! I can't believe that Jaguar killed George. I hate this damn island! So much for that cave, it's obviously not a safe place. Let's head back to our original camp and regroup there. Good thinking. Let's go. Oh my god. If you could actually see my face right now, guys. Yikes! Our camp is in terrible shape after that storm. It's a good thing we left the cave when we did. Otherwise, we'd all be toast. We're lucky to be standing here right now. We still have these nuts that Garrett and Jolene found. Everybody should eat some while we have a chance. This food is a godsend. It's too bad we didn't find coconuts. What good would that do us? Back in the 17th century, a Briti the British tried to build a railway through colonial Indian villages. The villagers attempted to protest the invasion, but were unsuccessful. Sarcastically, the British told the Indian peoples that they would divert the railway. Only if the villagers could break stones as big as coconuts, using just their heads. What on it? Legend says that they were actually able to break the stones, convincing the British to move the railway. Now some cultures believe that if you smash a coconut on your head, it brings good fortune. Um, Garrett, I think if we found a coconut, we should probably eat it. That is a good point. Okay, well, we're now free to move. Guys, this episode, we've lost George, Jolene, and an arm. Jesus. This game is pretty harsh. If you've liked what you've seen, please leave a like. And if you want to see more discourse, please press that subscribe button. Join me tomorrow, guys, for some more. Take care, and see you bye. What else have we got down here? Hey there, little guy. What have you got there, Rita? It's a disc. Must have fallen out of the plane. All alone and scared. <laughs> That's the face of somebody who has been through some serious stuff. Maybe we should keep him. That way we can take care of each other. We could call him, uh, Disc. Disky. Disky. Is that really the best you can come up with? I don't see a name on him. We've got to come up with something. Whatever. I've got nothing. Let's finish up this SOS. I'm still going to have a look at everything else. He's probably going to come and inspect other stuff as well. I wonder if this will affect our rating. Rating? They're probably rating us on everything we do. I'm sure we're doing great, Teddy. What do you think they're testing you on? <laughs> Honestly, Teddy, I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, what did you do before the incident? I was a barrister at a coffee... No... I know what your cover story is. What did you really do? <laughs> Teddy's crazy. I, he's funny, man. Whatever, Teddy. Okay, so let's pick this up. Bring it over. Look at that craftsmanship. 
Hello there everybody and welcome back to day three of Discourse. So, me and Teddy have decided to come and create a signal to see if we can get some assistance. So we need to look for something to actually write help in the sand. Let's find out exactly what we can find. What's this here? Hmm. There's an empty bottle of SPF 900 sunscreen in here. Looks like everything else has fallen out. There's nothing useful left. Okay. Looks like something fell out of this backpack. What's that? It's an envelope. This is weird. It has Jolene's name on it. Well, I can see this driftwood and it's highlighted, so I'm guessing we've got to check that out, but I want to look at everything else first. What a cheap-ass airline. They don't even have flotation devices under the seats. I guess that's what you get for flying with Dicest Air. Okay. Man, if I only had my phone on me, I'd totally Instagram a picture of this beach. <laughs> ah! A landmine! Wait! No, that's more sand. <laughs> okay, let's bring some driftwood over here. So we just gotta drop it over with Teddy. Whoa, top secret evidence. Um Let's be nosy. Let's open it. Let's open it. This is bound to be interesting. Go ahead, do the honors. Whoa! These are divorce papers! Jolene's planning on leaving George. Sure didn't seem like he was aware of this. Wow, this is really something. Oh shit, I feel really bad for George. This is important, but we should finish this SOS up first. Right, let's get back to work now. Oh man, that's well ash. Okay. 